February 2017, Gothic Legends Star Spirit Board messages here for you guys on YouTube. Now, for those of you who have been watching me, um, January, I started this um, ancient art form. We're bringing it back. <laughs> Um, it's a form of automatic writing uh, mixed with sacred geometry uh, for divination purposes, for realistic, spiritual meets the realistic, practical uh, messages that we can work with monthly, okay? So I'm going to be providing this for you all throughout 2017 for every single month. So you are now watching February 2017 um, messages, okay? So this will be for the entire month. Um, as usual, my eyes are going to be closed, okay? And this works very similar to a Ouija. It's not a Ouija, uh, but um, my eyes are going to be closed. I'm not going to be asking any messages, or any, uh, you know, any questions, sorry. So whatever, wherever we happen to land on, whatever letter, whatever word, because we have, on the four corners, we have a hello, a goodbye, a yes, and a no. And we have some symbols here. Wherever we land is where my higher self is directing my physical hands to deliver the messages, okay? So for some of you who do not get what that means, we all have a higher self, that seems to direct our physical bodies to work and utilize with that which we tend to second guess. Um, you know, as humans, we, we prefer to rationalize and analyze or seek to understand um, the hidden, whether it's paranormal, mysteries, um, an aspect or a perception of darkness, whatever that means to you, something that's hidden, uh, that likes to come out, that you would like to come out into the sun for you to see, for you to be illuminated, for you to come into an awareness or an enlightenment with. So this has to do with us, this has to do with ourselves, and whatever we attract externally is what is hidden inside of ourselves that needs to come out during this time, okay? So let's get the reading started for February 2017. And as usual, I'm just going to be placing my energy on so that um, the board knows it's me. <laughs> okay, so my eyes are closed. Wherever we land is where the messages will unfold. Okay, I'm just going to open my eyes and see where we landed. Looks like we landed on the number one. Number one. I hope you guys can see that. Have you been seeing the number one a lot lately? What have you accomplished last month? What did you accomplish in January? If you're somebody that was seeing the number one on bulletin boards, license plate receipts, waking up at 1111, waking up at 111 a.m., receiving information, paying attention, people make wishes when it's like 1111 or 111 or whatever, right? If you have been seeing messages or if you have been making tons of wishes in the month of January, well, honey, let me tell you, the month of February, it's all going to unfold. This is not something I'm literally thinking of. It's just coming out, okay? The month of February, you're going to see the results of something that you wish for truly magnificently in the month of January, okay? Uh, number one is all about determination, leadership, starting anew. It's connected to Aries. Aries is a very fiery um, number. Uh, sorry, astro astrological. In a fashion, it is the first of astrology, so that is number one, too. But it is very fast and quick oriented, okay? 
I'd like to see where this would lead us to the next, uh, where we land next, because wherever we land next, I'm feeling uh, the messages are going to come through as to what area of your life um, that your wish will come true. Okay, we landed bright smack here. And that we, it literally did not land on um, any number, any symbology. It is pretty, it's kind of in the corner of the star and connected to underneath, I'd say the number three or four. So, if you made a wish three times, three plus one is four. Four is all about security and stability. So something about your home, something about your home. There's people that want to make another move. There's people that are thinking about another move. There's people that are thinking about partnering up with other people, living with them, looking for a new place to live. I feel like people are making wishes for partnerships, okay? Partnerships and living together. Something about the home. Something about the home is really coming forth in the month of February. February is the month of Valentine's Day as well. So I know for those of you who do not really wish to believe in these things, it's not so much of that, but it has become a global sensation where people actually do, you know, if they don't go out with each other, they do something for themselves or their friends or whatever. But... If I'm not mistaken, in the month of February, right after the full moon, uh, the Valentine's Day is falling after the full moon. So what is coming forth for you by the full moon in February? Okay, pay attention, guys. Um, I know this reading will be up before the full moon. However, I want you to be aware. I want you to come back and watch this video even when I have the full moon reading up. Um, whatever manifests for you during the full moon Um Whatever wish that you made, it's going to come true and you're going to see that the results will come forth for you, okay? Okay, we landed on W. You need to know your worth. You need to know your worth. And it's not so much about... Some people are asking themselves, are they worthy enough? Okay, I don't know where that is coming from. Uh, there's somebody that's watching this video and they feel they they are not worthy enough for their spouse. This is going back to a particular person who is literally looking at places to move in, um, has been doing research of apartments or different places to rent, to be with, to live with someone um, in particular. But because I see you settled, but I see you unsettled, okay? And it's more of a, an emotional inner reaction that you're feeling here. Um, you're asking yourself, do you feel that you are worthy for the other person? And for some reason, it's a man that's asking this to themselves. It's not so much that you're coming from a lack of, but I feel as though you see your spouse or friend could be an intimate partner as very highly charged, very highly respected, or very, this person sees themselves and their life in a very higher state of um, development, okay? And I'm not quite sure what that even means because the messages are just coming through and this is just how it's coming through. 
for some reason I'm feeling as though you're gonna whoever this message is to is gonna understand or feel this, that this resonates with them better than it is making sense to me during this time um, but these are questions that you're asking yourself I literally see this person at night in their bed like almost sleepless nights I wouldn't say sleepless nights but almost sleepless nights right before bedtime in the dark under the bed sheets asking themselves if they're worthy enough to be with that other person now in a sense to give you a device about that I can sit here and tell you you deserve the world you deserve so much life has to offer you that you, you you know feeling a sense of unworthiness that you yourself deserve you know all the abundance and prosperity and in, in not even just love and friendship but for you to you know because I see you as this person that is really going about hoping that you can find a place and be with that other person so realistically to meet your vision or ideal of, of you feeling worthy to be with that other person of course you are because if you weren't you wouldn't even be thinking of that um other person as a higher respectful nurturing or caring individual like I, I sense, because I, I do feel, I can feel um, where you are coming from is you completely care for another. You may not show it in the way the other is expecting and it could be that is why you feel unworthy sometimes. Um... And it's not so much of the compatibility or non-compatibility between the two of you because that's not what it is. Um, it's more so of you really, really feel that this female or that this person that you are with or crushing for um, deserves a really, really good life, deserves a place that uh, she can call home and, and, and really come back and take care of you and herself and her finances and her life and, and her all that. I like because I'm, I'm, I'm look, I'm feeling and I'm sensing where you are coming from. Um, okay. And I totally get it. But I, I do, I see this late, like, I see this chemical component, like, keeping the two of you together. So I do see this in your cards, meaning I do see it part of your path that you are supposed to be living together. And I, I'm also picking up that the both of you know this, but there could be certain fears um, of letting go of where you're currently living now. And I feel like this is more on her part. She has a fear of letting go of where she's living right now. It's not so much of uh, she's looking down upon you or your life. Um, her biggest fear at this time is letting go of where she's currently living because where she's currently living is actually an ideal place for her but it looks as though there's no room for you in it. So you, in order for the both of you to live in, you'd of course have to move. And I completely get where you're coming for, from of that worthiness, okay? But remember, you really have to feel worthy in order to be with someone, right? You want to come from a fullness, not a lack of. Let's see what other messages come through. Going back to closing my eyes. Okay, my hand completely changed directions there. Okay, so we almost landed very close to where we ended. Today. V. What's V? Valentine's? Speaking of Valentine's. Okay, 
okay in my hand. Completely changed directions there. Okay, so we almost landed very close to where we ended. Today. V. What's V? Valentine's. Speaking of Valentine's. Um, a victory. Okay, I'm going to close my eyes and intuitively pick up what that even means because two words came out. Okay, you have something planned out for Valentine's Day. A proposal. You have a proposal laid out and you're keeping a secret or you're keeping it as a surprise. There's going to be something victorious that comes across uh, for you because there's going to be, um, for the both of you actually, because I see some form of high pay coming in. I'm not sure what that means. Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm getting visions here. Uh, there is going to be a high pay. I'm sorry if this is not very general for most of the public, but this person that is watching this video, their energy is really getting to me right now. And it's really trying to get my attention. Whoever this person is, um, please send me an email or message me or something because I really feel at this time you could work with, with what I have to tell you. Uh, because it's really nudging at me that you need to hear this right now before Valentine's Day, okay? Because there's going to be like a cross of something. Something is going to happen the weekend of Valentine's Day. The, like I said, there's going to be a full moon, Aquarius, Leo full moon that takes place. Um, it is very much a victorious full moon for you. There's going to be a proposal. There is a proposal of something. Three. <laughs> so we landed on the number three. Three is the number of communication and creation, manifestation. You need to be communicating right now. Communication is vital to keep a relationship alive. Communication is vital in order for business partners, relationships, family, home to be restored. Okay? There is a huge, huge gap of miscommunication in today's plan today's world okay we're living in a world where you'd think communication is really taking over right i mean we've got all these apps we've got text messaging emails we've got social media and we're constantly communicating but it's so detached People are not communicating to the person in front of them. They're not communicating to who they live with at home. They're not communicating because maybe they don't want to hurt the other person. Maybe they've just been adjusted to this lifestyle of let's just text each other and not really communicate our needs. So we just assume we're not worthy. We just assume the other one deserves better. We just assume the other person is busy with something else when we can spend at least 10 minutes a day communicating our true self. Our true needs to another. Something about January, okay? Your wish is going to come true. Something three times lucky charm, okay? If you're seeing that 111 number, 1111, if you're seeing even the number three, um, quite frequently, you're going to receive some important message and it's going to be connected to the second half or the middle of the month of February, okay? Even for people who do not celebrate Valentine's Day or don't believe in that stuff or who are single or they're currently looking for someone or maybe they're not. Maybe they're just content with who they are right now and they're just, you know, looking for a job. You're going to receive some form of message and you're going to feel very victorious. Like I said, there is money coming in um, and I see that for a lot of people. 
Okay, there's going to be money coming in. Congratulations, by the way, for whoever, because I did say there is um, proposals, something about a proposal. Okay, still going. All right, we landed on P, partnerships. Okay, partnerships are going to be so important for you. It's going to be coming up to the surface, okay, for people who haven't dealt with things from years past. For people, and that's funny because I'm saying people and people start with the little letter P. For people that haven't dealt with family issues, emotional issues, internal issues, uh, relationship issues, um, February is going to feel like you're going to have to be pushed, another P, to move forward with this. Because 2017 is the year for a lot of people to come together, okay? This is going to be a year to start something new all over again. And, you know, even if you're single, you have to have partnerships in wherever you're working. You have to build um, partnerships. You know, effective communication is key to make a living, to earn a living um, in whatever your field you are in. Unless, you know, even if you're working alone and you have a business and it's just you, you have to have that effective communication with your clients and your customers. So in a form that's partnering too, because you really want to open up with your customers and deliver what it is that you have to offer your clients, no? You want you, you want to have your, your clients trust you, trust your service, trust your product, whatever it is that you have to bring to them. Partnerships is key. I'm, I'm, there's just something that involves partnership here. Um, people coming together, people creating something of long lasting value, shared morals, shared values, shared ethics. Um, people that weren't, people that were hiding their intentions, their intentions of who they are, expressing who they are. Maybe they felt that they didn't feel the need to express who, who they are were because they felt that whoever is willing to be to share their life with them will just naturally find out eventually when time when time by slowly trusting them, developing that trust. But this year a lot of people are going to be pushed into partnerships. And I know that kind of sounds a little off because it's like, how do you get pushed into a real long lasting partnership? But the energies are just really fierce and fiery right now. Okay. So a lot of people have been shaken up last month, this month, it's going to continue until those right people come together. Okay. You're going to be pushed into it. You're going to feel energies and emotions push you left, push you right until you are blended and balanced into the right place, into the right emotion so you can work and be with the right people. Not everybody can live alone, you know? Not everybody can do things alone. So now's the time, okay? February is the time. So let's just do this one more time and see where this lands to give you one last message. still going so there we go we stopped okay we landed on z the letter z um 
I'm not sure if this is even a word. But um, I'm going to try to, or I will, I won't use the word try, to say it. Zaffron. That's what's coming through. I'm not quite sure what that is. If that is a language, in a language. If you know what Zaffron is. Um, I don't know, kind of sounds like a stone, maybe form of a color or maybe it is a language I don't know but the word saffron if it's a name you know I'm going to look into that right now because I'm getting a gut feeling that I should be doing it so let's I'm gonna look that up if I could possibly find saffron Okay, what I found that it is a name. Wow. Um, I'm not sure what culture. Let's. There's also some things that popped up, but and there was a Zaffron movie. I'm not sure. Okay. I don't know if that's a joke, but okay, I'm just going to click on one of them. So what I found here, I'm looking it up on, uh, I just Googled Zaffron. And I clicked on a first name. I'm not sure if this is actually a first name or if, it, I don't know what this is. <laughs> But it says, I, I clicked on a website called Cabalarians. Okay, so I'm going to read what it says. And I'm going to work with um, how this, whatever this message has to, to offer us right now. How this can help us as a whole community here uh, with information. Okay. So if any of word, any phrase, anything comes across that can help you during this time, if it means anything to you for the month of February, great. I hope it does. So I'm just going to read what it says. Your first name. Now, when I say first name, you don't have to have this name, but I whatever message comes forth, okay? Your first name of Zaffron has created a deep, sensitive, refined nature with an intelligent mind and a keen appreciation of material values. Again, this is on cabalarians.com. And Zaffron, how I spelt it, was Z-A-P-H-R-O-N. You enjoy all the finer things in life that a good standard of living allows. You have good business judgment and would do well in a managerial position as you have executive executive sorry ability you work best in an independent capacity where you are able to think problems out carefully before you act your sensitivity and reserve prevent people from coming close in friendship now these are messages that can help you or these are messages um that will be like help you to feel that this resonates with you at this time and or these are messages that you can work on during this time, okay? Work, like work on, you know. There is always an aloofness and reserve that acts as a barrier and prevents any close ties. Okay, so this could be for people to work on these things during this time so that you can get into those partnerships, right? I mean, we may want to be in partnerships, but if we could, don't come to the awareness that we are... Um, choosing to be alone or we're choosing to do things alone we're actually hindering our growth to develop a partnership right 
even in business. I may work great on my own, but if I want to do a group something, you know, I won't be able to effectively communicate it. So let's continue. You live much within your own thoughts and seek relaxation away from people. Out in nature where you can ease the tensions of your life. You find it difficult to express your true feelings, whether it be affection, appreciation, or ten tenderness, which plays such an important part in creating a close bond within the family. Uh-huh. Don't you just love the way these spiritual messages, spirit boards, and spiritual, like, divination as a whole works, right? You know, my rational mind is thinking, what's Zaffron? But whatever messages have come out completely resonates with all everything i said so far from the beginning of this reading about partnerships about pu being pushed into partnerships when we are so content living on our own or doing things on our own or working you know if you haven't let go of those emotions and and if you went through betrayal mistrust or whatever in the past you're going to be pushed to deal with that right now so that if you haven't dealt with it so that you can build those partnerships because the time is now okay last message that came any weakness in health would show in the respiratory system or generative organs and um for some reason i'm getting uh that is for people who are having uh, bowel problems. If you are not able to go to the washroom every day, that's probably because you're holding a lot of tension that involves uh, emotions or stress in your belly. Okay, your power center, your creative center needs to be expressed. That's that's incredible. I'd like to click on that author. Okay, that's just a joke. So I hope these messages have helped you. When I said that's just a joke, I clicked on it and it just says something that's completely irrelevant. But that saffron really went with it. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. Um have yourself a great February. This is the second month of the new year. It usually takes us February, March, the end of January at least for us to really balance ourselves back and to start a fresh new beginning, start a fresh new year. Um, so guys, stay centered. I love you all. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and for leaving comments and sharing my videos. Um, and thank you for connecting because you guys leave me some incredible, incredible reviews and I love it. Keep continuing it, okay? Whatever I have to give to you is incredible when you always give back to me with just, just, just your kind words, okay? Mwah, much love. See you next month.